you get more meaningful error messages. Interestingly enough, it doesn't give me an error when I run it there, when I hard code that. All right, so what could be the problem? Request movie ID is in fact four. One thing to try always is it is possible some of these things are reserved words. So I'm going to put square brackets around them to see if that helps me out. It's possible Q is a reserved word. Probably not user ID, but we'll cover it for good measure. Probably not movie ID, but maybe position. Now, I wasn't very scientific in that, right, because I'm not sure which change fixed it. Um, it did tell me that inserts were deleted even when I ran it there. Maybe there was some, maybe that database wasn't open correctly. Um, I, I don't know. But at any rate, it's working now. All right, the code, the code is working. So I can go here and start debugging. And I can pick a movie, add to the queue. And if we go back and look, that movie is now in my queue. All right. So we've created SQL, uh, and, and we've manipulated that object programmatically as opposed to using the built-in classes and using the default behavior. It's always important to know how to do that. You know, no matter how good a framework is, there's always an occasion for you to want to um, do something that is contrary to the way the framework wants to act. All right, and therefore it's good to know a, a way around it. Then you have your choice. If the, you know, if if maybe the framework does 90% of what you want to do, yeah, maybe you you work through it and and uh, address the 10% the difference and tweak your code to make the framework work the way you want it to a little bit. But if you find the framework only does a part of what you want it to do, sometimes it's better just to roll up your sleeves and do it yourself. All right? Now, one second. The two things that we want to do to this are, number one, we want to add code in there to count how many people, or I'm sorry, count how many movies are already in the queue so that first movie that gets added gets added as movie zero, or I'm sorry, movie in position one. The second movie that gets added gets added as movie two, and so on down the line. That's one thing that we want to do. That will involve in the middle of our insert routine doing some sort of um, select statement, a query, right? Because how do we know what position to make it? Well, let's count how many there are now and add one to it. So if there's zero uh, things for a particular user, we add 
one to zero and get one. So the first movie they add is in position one. The second movie then gets put in position two and so on. So we'll do that next time. The other thing we will do is we'll make a very basic sort of logging in system so that a person can log in and it remembers who that person is. All right, so it doesn't have to just add everything to the one person's queue. It can actually use a session ID to remember that. The other thing that we'll do is we'll do some sort of air trapping just to make sure that, um, you know, uh, to, to custom write uh, the code for the air trapping. Question.